Go. Okay, please stand up, everybody. Okay, Ian, need a prayer. Okay, thank you. Okay, in class, pick up those papers and uh, papers under your chairs and table. Okay, thank you. Class, good morning. Okay, please take your seat. Okay, Fiona, I want you to list down all the absentees for today. Okay? Okay, now, before we start, let's have a review first. So, what was our topic yesterday, Erwin? Yes, it is all about composition of lamps. Very good. So, before we start our new discussion, let's have an activity first. So, I have jumbo letters here, and I want you to arrange those letters into correct words. Is that clear? Okay, I want five volunteers. Okay, very good. Okay, Erwin, what is this? Yes, Fuse. How about Ian, what is this? Yes, it is. Club. Carmina, what is this? Outlet. Very good. Alex, what is this? Yes, switch. And uh, Michael, what is this? Yes, wire. Okay, class. According to the letters you arrange, what do you think are those? Those are? Yes, those are electrical materials and supplies. And that is our topic for today. So before we start, let's have our objectives first. So the first one is to recognize the different types of electrical supplies and materials. B. Discuss the uses and function of electrical supplies and materials. And C. Give the importance of knowing the electrical supplies and material. So, class, electrical materials are developed and constructed for a special purposes, such as uh, to conduct electrical current, uh, to protect buildings, uh, appliances, houses, and also instruments from damages and destructions. Now, what are the commonly used electrical materials class? Yes, fuse, switch, uh, receptacle. So those are uh, electrical materials. But here are some uh, electrical supplies and materials. So number one is convenience outlet. Convenience outlet class is a device that acts as convenient source of electrical energy for current consuming appliances. So this is an example of a convenience outlet. Next one, mail plug. Mail plug is a device that inserted to a convenience outlet to conduct electrical current. So this is an example of a mail plug. Okay? Next one, lamp holder. Lamp holder is a device that protects and holds the lamp and it is also called as lamp socket or typically known as receptacle. So this is an example of a receptacle. Okay? Now, next. Switch. Switch is a device that disconnects and connects the electrical current in a circuit. So this is an example of a switch. Okay, very good. Now, next, junction box. Junction box is an octagonal shape um, electrical material where the joint wires were being done. So this is an example of a junction box. Okay, now, next, utility box. Utility box is a rectangular shape metallic or plastic where the flush type convenience outlet and switches are attached. So this is an example of a utility box. Okay, next. Conduit. Conduit is an electrical material for the purpose of what? So this is an example of a conduit, a flexible conduit. Okay, next one. Circuit breaker. Circuit breaker is a protective device that automatically cuts and blow when there is a overloading or short circuit happen. So this is an example of a uh, circuit breaker. Okay, now next, clamps. Clamps are electrical materials to hold and anchor those conduits to its proper position. So this is an example class of a clamp. So this is a clamp. Okay, now the last one is a solid wire. A solid wire is a single strand conduit uh, that made of copper or aluminum. Okay, uh, do you have any questions? Okay, very good. So now, um, 
I want you, I want to know what you have learned for today. Okay, I will show pictures that, and I will, I will, uh, I want you to name it those electrical material. Okay, so now, what is this? Okay, switch. What is this? Yes, this is male club. Oh, this is receptacle. Like very good, class. Clap your hands for yourself. So those are electrical materials. So class. What is the different types of electrical material? Okay, here we Fuse, again, switch, conjunction box, utility box, circuit breaker, and uh, convenience of the very good. So those are uh, types of electrical material. So what is the importance of, it, of this in our environment? Okay, Ian, what is the importance? Yes, to protect us from destruction and damages. So are we clear? You understand? Okay, very good. So now, I want you to get one for sheet of paper and answer these five questions. Okay, time's up. Please pass it on in front. Okay, pass your papers in front. Okay, thank you. So now, class, for your assignment, I want you to uh, study about fixtures and uh, devices, okay? And please stand up. Goodbye, class. Okay, and see you tomorrow. Bye.